Good morning, everybody. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after about 11.45 Eastern on Wednesday, coming to you with an update on Hurricane Lee this morning. Hurricane Lee still a powerful major hurricane centered uh, just over 400 miles south of Bermuda, a little bit more than 1,000 miles away from Nantucket off the coast of Massachusetts. The storm's moving uh, slowly now toward the, uh, the north-northwest, and uh, we are expecting, again, Lee to be a, a significant impact, uh, especially to portions of the northeastern United States and Atlantic Canada as we head later into the week and into the weekend. Uh, the biggest news is that Lee is big, has a big wind field. Hurricane force winds that are shown here in the dark uh, red extend more than 100 miles away from the center. The tropical storm force winds in the orange here extend more than 200 miles away from the center. And as Lee moves northward and uh, starts to lose its tropical characteristics, the peak winds are going to come down a little bit, but the storm's going to grow even more in size. So that means regardless of the track of the center, as it moves here near or offshore of the coast of New England, as we go through the day Saturday and up towards Maine and Atlantic Canada Saturday night and Sunday, impacts are going to be felt hundreds of miles away from the center. Uh, so regardless of the exact track of the center, we're going to see significant impacts, especially in places like Cape Cod, uh, Nantucket, and down east Maine and Atlantic Canada are the areas that we're most concerned about in terms of significant impacts. But here's the timing. We are expecting Lee to be at hurricane strength uh, as it passes New England on Saturday and then uh, become post-tropical or lose its uh, tropical characteristics as it moves up into Atlantic Canada on Sunday. In terms of the arrival time of the hazards, uh, we expect tropical storm force winds to begin somewhere and uh, reach the coast of southeastern New England sometime late Friday or Friday evening, uh, and then reaching the coast of Maine uh, overnight Friday night and into Saturday morning. The highest chance of, of sustained tropical storm force winds is in places like Cape Cod and places like down east Maine. And we're likely to see tropical storm watches issued for at least a portion of the New England coastline later today. Uh, in terms of the higher winds, these are the chances of seeing uh, strong tropical storm force winds or 58 mile per hour winds that can cause more significant damage. Again, the relative uh, highest areas that could see those would be along portions of the main coast and then in portions of Cape Cod. So those are areas where we might see more potential for tree damage, uh, more substantial power outages. Uh, so those are going to be the things you want to start thinking about in terms of preparations as we go through the next couple of days. Again, these impacts are likely to begin Friday night into early Saturday. So you have today's Wednesday, you got all the rest of the day today, all day tomorrow to get ready, and even a good chunk of Friday to get ready as well for any potential impacts. Uh, we're talking about the water and the wave field associated with Lee. We've been talking about this for several days. Lee's a big, large hurricane. It's moving a lot of water around in the western part of the Atlantic Basin. This is a significant wave height forecast that's uh, valid uh, Thursday afternoon. And you can see the peak waves here to the western Bermuda are over 50 feet in terms of significant wave height. But we have uh, tremendous waves reaching the en entire coast of the U.S. from the east central Florida coast all the way through the Carolinas up into the mid-Atlantic and northeast. Again, that wave action is going to cause things like beach erosion, dangerous surf and rip current conditions. If you look at the rip current risk, even today, there's a high risk of rip currents all the way from just north of Miami along the, the rest of the Florida east coast, Georgia, north and south Carolina, up along the mid-Atlantic coast, all the way off to Long Island, moderate risk of rip currents just about everywhere else on the East Coast. So again, if you're going to be out at the beach, please pay attention. It could be an otherwise very nice day to be outside, but you want to watch those warning flags, pay attention to any advice you're given by your lifeguards, and, and uh, generally stay out of the water if you're told to, do, to, to not get in. A reminder, too, that even for places like Florida, the southeastern United States, rip currents can be deadly from hurricanes that are hundreds of miles offshore, and we lose a lot of people to those every year. So please don't become a statistic and, and, uh, and be safe at the beach. You can go to weather.gov beach for the latest beach forecast for your location. In terms of rainfall, uh, we're looking at the potential for several inches of rain with Lee, even to the west of the center. Right now, the highest chances, this is the rainfall forecast basically from Friday morning through Sunday morning. Highest chances for significant rainfall are places like eastern Maine, especially portions of Cape Cod. This rainfall axis could shift if the track of Lee changes to the east or to the west, but uh, so we can't get into too much in terms of specifics yet. But the area we're most concerned about with the potential for flash flooding on, uh, during the day on Saturday, uh, we'll be up into eastern Maine, places like Bangor, up to Caribou. So we'll uh, want to keep an eye on that. There's also the potential for some significant coastal flooding. With such a large hurricane, with such a large wind and wave field, we could see coastal flooding and beach erosion along, along much of the U.S. East Coast. 
with the track of Lee, we're most concerned about the potential for storm surge in places like Cape Cod Bay and perhaps along portions of the main coast as well. So to wrap things up, we've got to uh, we'll leave you with our key messages. We've got dangerous surf and rip current conditions along much of the U.S. East Coast, still affecting the northern portions of places like Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, the Virgin Islands, also affecting the Bahamas and Bermuda. That's going to continue through the weekend. We're going to see tropical storm conditions on Bermuda, where there's a tropical storm warning in effect, some heavy rainfall as well, certainly high surf affecting that island, and then the, an increasing risk for wind, coastal flooding, and rain impacts from Lee along the coast of New England and Atlantic Canada beginning late Friday and continuing through the weekend. So if you live in those areas, especially in a coastal area, Please pay attention to updates from uh, uh, through the day and into tomorrow as we go th uh, through this event. We're likely going to be issuing some types of watches for the United States uh, New England coastline later today or tonight. And uh, check back in to hurricanes.gov to get the latest information from the National Hurricane Center and weather.gov for your local National Weather Service office. We'll be back with more updates on Lee as we go through the rest of the week. I'm Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center.